What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Half Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So finally when it comes to macOS 12 Monterey, we now have the official public release, meaning that if you have a supported Mac like a MacBook Air or Pro that was made 2015 or newer, you can be able to go into your software update page and update to this. Now the update size expected is going to range according to your, the device that you are going to be updating from and it's typically going to be somewhere between 10 to 14 gigs now if you want to remove the developer profile or if you're not seeing this update you want to go into your system preferences and then go to where it says software update just give it a moment to load and you'll be able to see that there's details here if you have a developer profile and click where it says details and input your passcode and you'll be able to remove the developer profile and if the update that has been released has actually a different build for the public and that's different from what I have here you can see the version is 12.0.1 and if you click here you can see the build number that I have it's 21A559 so that's the build number that I have if there is a public release with the same build and you are not seeing the update you can actually remove the profile like I showed you and then you can go to the app store and search for Mac OS 12 and you'll be able to download the DMG file and run it on the public release and that way you'll be off the beta. In terms of new features and changes, the moment you start up your Mac once you update to Mac OS 12, you're going to see that we have new screen savers and wallpapers. So if we go to desktop and screen saver right here and you can see here that on the screen saver we have this Monterey screen saver and this is like a small preview of how it looks. It just takes a Mac West Monterey wallpaper and makes it um, dynamic you can see that it moves around and if you give it time you'll be able to see different shapes and colors so that's how it looks and the other screen saver that you get is this hello screen saver this is the most popular one when it comes to Mac OS 12 and it's basically going to be changing background colors like on my secondary monitor it's a bit pale and on my main monitor it looks a little bit purple so that is how it looks and when it comes to the desktop screen save or desktop pictures you can see that we have dynamic photos and this is for my secondary device and my uh, monitor rather and this is for my main device and you can see that we have this Mac OS Monterey wallpaper it's dynamic in the sense that it's able to switch between night mode and day mode and if you want to toggle the settings on and off you can always go to your display here and either enable dark mode always or or day light mode always so that is the new first change that you're going to see and also you'll be able to see that we now have memoji on startup so the way you access memoji is you want to go into system preferences and go to your profile and click edit and you'll be able to see that you have memoji emoji monogram camera and so on and when you click where it says memoji right there you can see the memojis that you have you can choose any that you like or if you have a custom created emoji you can select it and then you can you know choose the zoom and position it where you want and once you've done that you can click save and next time when you start up your mark you'll be able to see your memoji if you input a passcode that's wrong it's going to do a funny face and also if your mark is not being used for some time it's going to sleep and it's just overly just there to make your day a little bit better let's talk about one major important feature that came with mac os 12 and that has to do with universal control so if you go to your display settings you'll be able to see that universal control is sort of mentioned with mac os 12 and you can see here that the options are allow your cursor and keyboard to move between any nearby mac or ipad and your cursor and keyboard can be used on any nearby mac or ipad signed into your icloud account so basically this works between macs or 
iPads and you can use like peripheral devices such as keyboards and like a mouse and also you can push through the edge of the display to connect a nearby Mac or iPad allow the cursor to connect to a nearby Mac or iPad by pushing against the edge of the display so that is in brief how universal control is going to be working on Mac OS 12 but unfortunately if you go to this uh, website it's beta.apple.com and click macOS you'll be able to see that it mentions universal control and it says that this feature is going to be available later in the fall so yes we have macOS 12 and for some users they are able to toggle on these universal control settings however it's not fully functional it still needs to be uh, tested more so perhaps with mac os 12.0.2 or 12.1 maybe that's when this universal control is going to be enabled so that is as much as universal control is concerned and also something that i want to show you here has to do with facetime so this is actually facetime that you are seeing right here and i've initiated a facetime call but as you can see here we do have the share play button here but just like universal control this button is by no means functional as you can see if you click on it nothing happens but also if you go into the facetime here and go to your preferences you notice that if you go to this share play section that you are seeing right here you actually have the ability to enable share play or disable share play when you are in applications that are like watching shows i believe that's the apple tv listening to music that is the music app and when you are using apps that allow you to be able to combine calls and i believe here on the bottom of this screen what you are seeing here there should be a toggle where you can add the applications that you want to allow to use this automatic start autoplay like you can add your podcast if you want to share your podcast or you can add your music app here but as you can see here this is a feature that is still in transition and if you go to the beta.apple.com since it mentions facetime to be the first change that came with this update you can see that Fa facetime share play is mentioned to be coming available later this fall so again we have mac os 12 but share play isn't here fully so perhaps with the later update that's when we are going to be able to enjoy this share play feature but also you know something that's really good when it comes to like facetime is that now you have special audio and voice isolation that are built in and you also have portrait mode and grid view if you have a large number of callers on the screen also when it comes to like message you can see here that you now have stacked photos so instead of the photos taking the whole screen you can be able to see them right here and it will create a stack when you click on the stack then that's when it's expanded and you also have shared with you so if someone shares like a link with you in messages that has to do like with a certain podcast or that takes you to a safari link this is my chat with tech hype we talk about tech most of the time so if you go to like safari and let me create a new tab here you can see here that i have so many shared with you links that i got from tech hype so all these are links that tech hype has shared with me so the same is applies when someone shares like music uh, playlist with you you'll be able to see it in your music shared with you section and also if someone shares like a new apple tv show and podcast and so on you also be able to see them in the shared with you section of that application which is something that's good i want to show you something because with mac os 12 we now have live text in photos so if we go to the photos app that you are seeing here and open up a random pic like this one that you are seeing so if we zoom in into this picture you can see that the moment it and identifies a selectable text the cursor turns into an eye and i can sort of select this and you can see that i can look up like the selected text i can translate it i can search it with my ecosia search engine and i can share or with services i can actually add to music as spoken track and this 
text that I have selected will be able to be read. So this is how live text works. And it basically initially was available to Apple Silicon Max, but now with Mac OS 12, Apple has expanded this and made it available to all Macs that support Mac OS 12. Speaking of Safari, if you go to the Safari version that we have here and you click to Safari there and go to the about, you can see the version that we have that it's 15.1 and the build number is 17.6.12.2.9.1.20. So that is the Safari version that I have with this update. And with Safari, you can actually create tabs. So like this is a tab that I created when it comes to travel. I can search, you know, create multiple tabs in here for this travel tabs. Like when like I can put like tabs that have to do with like airline prices, with hotels and so on. And so with Safari, you can create multiple tabs travel test and so on and also if you go to safari and go to system preferences you can see that you have actually the old mac os 11 tab layout so that is the layout that you are seeing here you can see how they are sort of separated and if you want compact ones you can see how they look here and it sort of you know looks a little bit newer but if apple gave you it's a good thing to see that apple has given us the option to be able to actually you know select the tabs that we want by going into the preferences and setting the tab section that we want and also with safari it has intelligent tracking that prevents trackers from viewing your ip address when you create links or click on certain links and as you can see compact tab layout also is another new feature now when it comes to focus i want to show you something here because if you go into your system preferences and you go to where it says notifications and focus so as you can see this before used to just be called focus but you can see that they've added notifications and focus when you click there you can actually see the focus tab on top there and when you click focus you can see the different focus modes that you have and right now i have do not disturb but you can see that share focus status and this will be able to tell apps and also silence notification notify people that you have like something important that you are focusing on and also you can see here that you have the option to share focus across devices so if i like select a focus like i'm gaming right now and enable this focus all my devices like my iphone and apple watch and ipad will also get this focus so focus is a mode that helps you focus more and achieve more with this mode which is something that's good and also we have quick notes when it comes to mac os 12 so this is my cursor if i hover it in the bottom right section here you can see that there's something that sort of peeks through and if i drive it all the way you will actually be able to see that we have quick notes and if i click on the quick note you can see that you know i can actually be able to like write a quick note and this is actually synchronized to my apple id so so I can actually be able to write some notes and be able to continue either on my phone or iPad. And it's something that comes in handy when you want to take a quick note or you don't want to miss a moment. And also, if you want others to get involved, you can actually add tag people like your contacts and they will be able to see this note and you can use hashtags to be able to find some notes or some important information in some notes which is something that's good also with mac os 12 we now have a feature that allows you to airplay to your mac so this will airplay including like the volume and the audio so for this feature to be able to work you need a 2018 and newer macbook pro or macbook air or any of the apple silicon Macs. and sound also comes to the mac like if you want to share a workout on your iphone and view it on the mac you are able to do this by means of airplay to mac now also if you go to the apps here you can see that when it comes to mac os 12 we finally have the shortcut app 
that has been brought over to the max so this means that if you have a, a shortcut that you want to run or that makes it easier to be able to perform certain automation like set a quick alarm and so on you can see that with this shortcut app that has been brought over to mac it actually makes it easier for you to be able to perform specific functions faster so for the first time we now have the shortcut app on the mac now when it comes to the maps they've actually updated it for like the apple silicon m1 max to be able to get a 3d globe view but in general if you were to open up your map and go to like a bigger city like for example if you search up new york times square you can see that here it tells you that you in that city you have like two guides that you can like take so this is sort of like a tour guide that the map will give you and you can see featured in guides here so you can see the best things to do with kids in new york city and free things to do in new york city it will sort of take you around and also they've added like cycling directions in more cities they've improved the quality when it comes to walk around or view around and also when it comes to like areas elevation and trees and so on they've made improvements when it comes to the apple map so those those are some of the changes when it comes to privacy you can see that you actually have new features with Mac OS 12 we have some subscription services such as private relay hide my email and so on so mail privacy is there to prevent senders from tracking your mail activity and also if something is using like your microphone or your camera you'll be able to see like a little yellow dot here in the top of your control center here just to give you a hint that something is going on so it's good from time to time just focus your eyes there to see if anything is using your mic and like i mentioned what you see here private relay basically prevents companies from creating a profile of your browsing data or history and you have the ability to hide your email address from that which is something that's great it leads to better privacy now upon updating to mac os 12 you actually notice that there's a lot going on in the app store so because we now have new 14 inch and 16 inch macbook pros that have the new apple silicon m1 pro and m1 pro max apple has updated like the pro apps to be able to utilize the performance and the processors of those Macs better so you'll be able to see updates to iMovie to Final Cut Pro and you can see for example for iMovie it says cinematic mode and you can see that you now have the ability to edit videos recorded on iPhone 13 in cinematic mode and this requires Mac OS Monterey so this is something that you'll be able to do and something similar too has been added when it comes to object tracking that requires Mac OS Monterey and also the same thing Thing, you'll be able to edit cinematic mode videos and you can actually be able to do post production on focus which is something that's good so pro apps final cut pro imovie motion compressor and logic pro have been added to better utilize and work better with mac os 12 apps and the new macs that are coming and also when it comes to the iWorks so by iWorks I mean numbers keynotes and pages you can see that we have updated icons this is how the numbers icon used to look before all these were different colors you can see the pages actually has a note pen and also keynote as you can see here has been updated to depict a circular icon which is something you know it's better to make them look more iconic and when it comes to the new 14 or 16 inch macbook pros that were just released since those macs have a notch when you actually enter like a full screen mode of an app like this you have the ability in your system preferences to actually hide the notch if you don't like it so this is a feature that is supported if you have the new Macs and you are on Mac OS 12. Another thing that I want to show you here with Mac OS Monterey, you can see that some widgets have sort of been touched up. So the weather widget that we have here used to be a little bit darker, but as you can see here, it looks lighter than what we had before. And also the clock widget, if you want to add it, you also be able to see that it has been tweaked a little bit and we have world clock as well. So those are some of the 
changes that I managed to find when it comes to macOS 12 or macOS Monterey. Let me know what you think about this video. And as always, thanks for watching and reaching this far. And stay safe. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. Peace.